Are you guys ready? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Brian. I'm the secretary and the C I mean the web developer. I'm Ricky and I'm the CFO. How are you doing, everybody? My name is Will and I'm the CEO of Less Stress Packaging and Shipping. Now, what is less stress packaging and shipping, you might ask? Well, let me start off by saying, how many times have you, your friends, or family been going through TSA and you've lost an item? Well, this is exactly what less stress has set out to solve. How are we going to solve this? We will solve this by having a conveniently placed kiosk near TSA where travelers who experience this type of turbulence can come, package up their items in a time-efficient manner, and be continue with their travels. Now, there is no other company like this out here. USPS, FedEx, and UPS, they have vaults in the airport where you can come, and it's like a drop-off box, where you can come, drop off your box, nobody can steal into it, nobody can break into it. But the thing is, is you have to package up your item, you have to make a label for it, and you don't really have time. When someone doesn't know how to do that, they don't really have time to do this, and when you're traveling, this can be a stressful time, and time's of the essence, and less stress, we will, you will be able to do this all at once. When you come to us, you do it all in one spot, and we patch it up, we help you while the clerk working at our kiosk, and you'll continue on your travels. So the problem, what exactly is the problem? Okay, every year thousands and thousands of Americans, my family, friends I know of, experience the issue of confiscation, or they're unaware. So females, for example, while they're going through TSA, they, lose, they have a bottle of lotion, they have a bottle of shampoo, or conditioner, and it's over a certain amount of ounces, and this stuff can get pricey, I'm sure as you guys know. These makeup can get pricey and stuff, and you guys don't want to throw it away, and you don't want to, you don't want to lose it. TSA says, oh, we well, can't bring it on your plane. Men, they have pocket knives, or they have a corkscrew, or a bottle over, or something of that nature that they don't want to lose, but they're being made aware, oh, you can't take this onto the plane because of security reasons, or it's going to cost you a ridiculous amount of price to go back and package it up, or but if your baggage is already in the baggage claim, then it's, it's just a nightmare to do. It's stressful, and that is something that we don't want. So how are we going to fix this? So our kiosk itself, it would be a station where they can come. We would weigh it. We would print the label. We would package it up, help them. They would do this all in one spot, and then we would also have lock boxes where it's like a safety deposit box. So if they're going to some place and they're coming back, they know they're going to be coming back to this airport in a couple of weeks, a couple of months, whatever, however long, they would be able to put their item in this lock box instead of shipping it to the destination that they want to. They can put it in this lock box and then on their way back, they can just stop by and they would be able to get it out of their locker and they'd be able to continue with their travel. So our UBP, our UBP, how are we unique? Like I said, UPS, FedEx, and other companies, they have lock boxes in the airport, but they don't have anybody helping you with the whole process. We're unique because we'll have a clerk there, and there's no other kiosk, there's no other business that's doing this. There's no other business in the airport that's helping people package up their items and kind of walking them through the whole thing. So. All right, so the first way we're gonna get feedback is through Google reviews, seeing what we could improve on, and how their experience was with our server. The second thing, the key metric, that's the way people annually measure the, their success, and the way we are annually gonna measure our success rate is by the rate of people going through the TSA and experiencing the ultimatum of, of their con, con, confiscations. And another way we're gonna do that is through the rate of people using our service. So the customers we're going to try getting are the forgetful people that don't remember the rules of TSA and people that are new to flying and don't know their rules. So for channels, channels for our company would be like brochures or something because we would like to put like a little information packet of where our company would be and little flyers and we'll have like things around the airport that would support our company saying like where we're located or where we're at or where to find us. Um, another thing would be that another thing would be that they would uh, our channels were a third party organization so the way that we'd be shipping our products would be through like FedEx or UPS, whoever gives us the cheapest affordable price to ship it out so we don't lose any money. So 
So that would be our main channels for our company. Yeah. Just, just to make that clear, basically, because we don't have the infrastructure to be packaging, we don't have planes and everything, but we would go through other third parties like FedEx or UPS, whoever gives us the best rate, we would go through them and we would just mark up the value on, that we would mark up the price so we would make a profit. All right, so for our website. This is our website, it has our logo, and if you scroll down, it says our name and our background, and it just talks about why we created this um, system, our kiosk. And it's a very simple page, because our this kiosk is basically made about um, speed and because they have to catch the flight so they won't miss it and with the um, contact page they just give us another way for information that things we can improve on. Our MVP. So we're going to go with the concierge MVP. That means a minimum viable product that requires you to solve the problem manually. And so basically what our MVP would look like is with the lean mentality, you know, we had that in mind when we were composing this, we would be just the bare minimum of equipment that we would need to operate. So that would include like a plastic table, once you have it like picnics, that would be cheap, a cash register, a weight scale, some boxes, some boxes, some tape, some boxes, some tape, some packages like the paper ones, bubble wrap, and maybe like some advertisement posters and maybe possibly an easy up. And then implementation. So how we're gonna try to get into the airport is, so like Starbucks, basically what they do is we call them, the Starbucks and the Fresno Yosemite International Airport, basically how they do it is they don't pay rent, they pay 10% of their gross profit. So we would go to the airport with that same kind of offer. We'd be like, okay, we'll show them, we'd show them our product, we'd show them our business, and we'd be like, we'll give you 10% of our gross profit or 20% or, or whatever we could get a deal with because that would give them incentive because they, they only have something to win. We would just take up some of their not used space because I know that whole wall right before TSA, like they don't use that. So it would just we would just be occupying space that's that's nobody's using as it is, and they would only be making money from us. So, yeah. so this is kind of an idea of what we would want our kiosk to look like. Um, Ricky will say so. For our kiosk blueprint, we would have two big tables with our two weights, two scales, two printers. And cash register, and we would have our storage lockers right by the side. Um, this would be more or less our final, like our big kiosk. So like if we wanted to work in bigger airports, and we even expanded, would add more tables or more lock box, more locker boxes for our company, but a small size for the airport that we're using. So for our cost structure, like I said, the smaller size of our blueprint would be, would have would be like roughly two thousand dollars, and that's if we had like one table one weight scale, one third open and cash register, and a vault box and boxes and receipts and tape and stuff like that. That'd be for our cost structure, roughly 2000 But for our full structure, it would probably be around 5000 if we wanted to expand it for more people or more traffic coming in. So for revenue streaming, uh, the airport that we're going to be using is FYI Airport, as Will said, and it's, there's 1.5 million people that usually traffic through that annually per year, and that's just a very small percentage for that airport, and if only like 1% or a few hundreds of a percent were to use our company just once or twice throughout that whole year, would make $63,000 roughly, but as you can see, like, there's other airports that we expanded our business and we're in San Fran, or LAX, there's 50 million to 75 million people that go through there annually per year. And if they just used our product once or twice, that could be millions of dollars. And the, on a bigger scale, if it was all the airports in the United States of America and all those people consistently going through there annually, it would be maybe millions to billions of dollars. So that would be our mass scale, which we would have to have more people working with us and building bigger kiosks for all the people that are in the airport because a small little kiosk wouldn't cover that many people. But that would be our revenue stream and how we would get all that. Just, just to clarify, I said a $2,000 investment for MVP and you have the possibility to make $62,000. I'll make sure you guys heard that. <laughs> all right, so, questions or concerns? Thank you. <laughs>